I couldn't even eat well properly. I will manage to eat. Even if I'm even talking, the tongue will be banging to this other side. I've used mirror to check. I did not see any sore. So I've just been taking vitamin C. If I'm even talking to some people, they will say, ah, you are not talking well. I say, my tongue is paining me. Praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. So I come to this uh, deliverer, this weekend deliverer. If they say pray, so for me to even pray, I would just be... <clears throat> That's how I was praying. But this yesterday night, when Papa came out, the oil, normally if I come to deliver, I drink small oil because of the poison. Praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. But yesterday, I even turned plenty more in my mouth, almost to the half of my oil. Because I will be drinking water in the night, drinking water, my, my mouth is just dry up. No, no, no spit. I'll be drinking water, drinking water. Like that, even in the office, I can even drink almost half a bag of pure water before we go to the house. Praise thy Lord. But when, when we just take this oil, I say, God, this thing is not following me home. What is happening? I don't want to go to a clinic for it. I don't know what is even happening. When we say, okay, let's go and rest. When I woke up this morning, I couldn't find that pain. I mm. couldn't find that stress. And my mouth is okay. That is why I said, let me come and testify. After hey, taking the oil, the ulcer disappeared. Yes. Can you make a joyful noise to the Lord? You said you have a pain in your tongue. My full tongue. Like a like sore? sore. Like, like you know sore. when you chew sugar at times, you bite your mouth. But I didn't even chew sugar. The whole mouth, the whole, the whole tongue, it will dry up. Even for me to brush, I was not brushing. If I, what I will do, I will just use my water to raise my mouth. Then I will look for something to scrape it. It's white, mm. as if I take milk in the mouth. The tongue, tongue was white. Yes, so, I will, so that people will not, will not smell and this. I will use something to scrape it gently to remove the white. But before I will go to the office, it will be white like that. If I sit, as I use mirror to look at it, I will use tight. So for how long did this thing persist? Almost two weeks now. Two weeks. Yes. That was a case of candidiasis and most likely aftos ulcer. That's when we have ulcer in the tongue, in the buccal cavity. And there is actually no cure for it. The best you can do is to drink a lot of hot water and take it by vitamin C, but there was no certainty or guarantee of a cure. But after taking the anointed oil that the man of God proclaimed and declared the word of God on, they all start to disappear. Can you make a joyful night to the Lord? Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. I'm Justina Akobaru. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The testimony of our sister is as follows. She has three testimony. The first one is that over five years now, she healed dust. And automatically, she became an asthmatic patient. She cannot do, you no, know, she cannot sleep without drugs. And she cannot breathe well. And since then, in fact, she was privileged to have been part of the five days honor that just passed. And after the honor, God's servant blessed the free date water and uh, from that water, God's servant, no, she took it home after taking some that day. But when she got home, she emptied everything, drank everything. That is the end of that affliction. Mm. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. The second one is as follow. And also, our sister is one of the deliverance candidates that is ending after second service today. Before God's servant mount the pulpit yesterday, they were lying down on the altar. She saw some people were lying down, but things were going out of them. And while in the altar, she saw, you know, angels shining bright white. And they were wagging their wings. And then um, one of them said that these people, they need surgery. What is going out of them is their problem. And all of a sudden, she saw one of them with an ash boss. First a boss. That was when the angel said that they need surgery. And immediately after that, God's servant came out and her full ran. She got up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The third testimony is as follows. She has uh, two live fishes at home. And before then, her husband bought this uh, and he set inside a hawk on the street. Two. And her children flitted those uh, fishes with it, and they died. And when she got back home, 
she used warm water and uh, salt to wash the fishes and used it to cook. After they ate from it, all of them were having stomach pain, severe stomach pain. And then she had not given her husband food. Then she quickly ran to free the dead water and drop it in their mouth. And also dropped some in the food she gave to her husband. And that is the end of that affliction. And her husband too ate that food. There's no stomach pain. Praise the Lord. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. Our sister, you said your sister is she here now? You said your sister was here during the, the deliverance, or you're, you're the one? It was, I was the one. Okay, before the, the gospel man came. Yeah, that on Saturday, I was sleeping on the altar. And so you and some other persons were lying down. Yeah, there were people were lying on the altar. I don't want to sleep in the hall that side. I said, no, let me go. I don't have strength to go to that side. I said, let me just lie and sleep here. While I was sleeping, I saw. Okay, while I was sleeping, I saw some people came. I was trying to look at their face. They were wearing white, shining. It's like I was not qualified to look at their faces. So oh, I would not do my face like this. It's so like, I, it's like, you said it's like you were not qualified to look at their faces. Like I was not qualified to look at their face. Because their I want to were... blind. I want to look at their face. So I bend my face like this. Before I knew, I saw something grow out of many people here. Some were grow out of them. All the people who were so lying down. Things were leaving them. Was, no, it was growing out like something like big pain, big bread. Will grow out of them. We grow out, out and it will uh, cut off. It will not cut off. It will go out and still remain in the body. But it's like rope is holding it. So I was within me to stop. What is this? And one man among them walked to me. I said, This people we are seeing here, they need surgery. Mm. This is their problem that have grown out of them. Today I will put the problem away from them. That's so, one of the angels said yeah, that. I don't know that. But I don't look at this face. So I will just bend my face. Like I don't buy it to blind. So I will just cover my face. So, and he said that I want to operate. The problem so if I look, I saw something first aid. This one we're going to school, first aid box. Yes. Uh -huh. Green trees like silver color. So and a little uh, white table, just something white table just pushed in. And my phone rang, I opened my eyes. Mm. You make a joyful night to the Lord. If you are in this deliverance, make a joyful night to the Lord. All your problems have been taken away. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. Jesus Day, yeah? What a God we serve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Prophet. I want to thank God for my deliverance yesterday. And secondly, after the five days all night, I bought the prayer card. And when I got home after the all night, Daddy called me and he just said, that's my grain headache. I send it back to hell. I said, amen. And of a true... I really don't know when it started. I've been feeling this moving object on my head. But immediately that is said the word. That was the end of the moving object. I've come to give all the glory to God. Hallelujah. For how long were you having the moving object in your head? Since last year. I really don't know when you were, it started. You were in this deliverance. Yes. And after the word, the darkness disappeared. Yes. That's one of the confirmations. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. You can do better. Jam those hands together for Jesus. Child, praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Patience. I want to thank God for his goodness upon me and my family. During the all night, my son was seriously sick. After the encounter of the prayer of man of God, my son received healing. And also, God delivered me from the hand of the enemy. Church, praise thy Lord. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Egan Praise, and I want to thank God for its deliverance over my life. Since last week, I've been having, as in every time I sleep, almost every day, around three o'clock, a spirit will come and be attacking me, trying to have sex with me, be oppressing me. So I decided to come to this deliverance. But when I got here, after everything, after the deliverance, the prayer session, everything, after we, after we break the fast, my stomach was like, it was running me, so I decided to go to the toilet to, to poo. Behold, if you saw what came out from my body, it looked like black blood and some other things that were in pieces. I want to thank God for saving me from that spiritual attack. I want to give God all the glory. Church, praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Our sister, what were the attacks you used to have that prompted your coming for the deliverance? Whenever I'm sleeping, exactly that time, theory, exactly the time. Okay, theory. you were the one that, the, in the course of the deliverance, the demon said, the spiritual husband said, 
is the 3 a.m. Uh, spiritual husband. Yes. Yes, in the course of the deliverance today, while that he was ministering, the, the spiritual husband said, is the one that comes at 3 a.m. And of course, the demon was set back in. So after the deliverance, you went to the toilet and some terrible substance came out of you. Yes, it looked like blood, as in bl black blood, with some other things that came out from my body. And after excreting all those things, I was free. And you've not eaten for three days before mm -hmm. all those things came out. Mm -hmm. That was the darkness that was projected inside of her. Every darkness projected inside of you. Every demon hiding inside of you. They shall be arrested in the name of Jesus. Let's have those hands together for Jesus. Amazing deliverance indeed. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sao Marisha Yo Kalime Rebecca. For the past two months and some weeks, I have not been seeing my measurable flow. But after our deliverance, but after our divine assurance all night, the measurable flow busted out. Praise the Lord. For how long have you not seen the measurable flow? Two months and some weeks. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. Congratulations. Church, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, bless Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The gospel of Jehovah saved me come up for fire season this morning. Praise the Lord. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. There shall be no loss. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you know that God raised this ministry because of me and you, mm. shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. For five years, my husband did not have work. So a work not came. That was November. They went. A family of his, his house said he should help him. So he helped the boy. They went to the work. Richard, the boy don't want to work. So he said he should go back. The boy was boasting for my husband that you are saying I should go back. I will summon you to altar. I will do you this. I will do you that. I have said many things to many people. See, today they remain barren. They die. They do this. When my husband come back, he told me everything. I said that one. He said smart thing in the God of free indeed. He said smart case. He answer our problem. He solve our solution. I came here and lay down. I pray and I drop seed. I went during this uh, February last month. My husband come back. What happened? Why did you come back? He said he don't know. People were telling him that he was misbehaving. Some, everybody crowded him. So they were giving him the story how he was misbehaving. He said suddenly a deep sleep came and he slept. When he woke up again, he said, he was asking, what happened? Why are you people surrounding me? They were telling him the story. My brothers and sisters, that very Saturday we came here again. I said, let's go to church. That is where the problem will end. We come here, we kneel down. We pray. We go to that tap water. That tap water, you people should not take it for granted. Oh, yeah. We fetch the tap water. He use it to wash his head and wash his face. The next day, they call my husband, come back to work and raise you. That is how God revised this affliction. Back to send Can you make a joyful noise to the Lord? Jump and make a joyful noise to God. The Bible says celebrate with them that are celebrating. A young woman like this, the enemy afflicted the husband, turned his head upside down, took his jaw, sent him out of the home. But for the God of freeing it. Madam, you for how long did the husband leave the house? Five years. Five years. We don't know that that boy is an agent that is monitoring my husband. Which boy He's was that? He's a household enemy. Which boy was that? The boy. Yes. The boy is from his house. From his own house. Yes. They cried to my husband that I should assist him because my husband is a contractor. But for five years, no job. He said he should help this boy. He helped this boy. Go work, he will not go. Well, you follow, you know, in a company work, there are different departments. Yes. If we follow other departments, my husband said that this job, they say we should rush it. Why are you behaving like this? Did we offend you? He said, No, you don't want to work. My husband said, Okay, you go back. Let me use another person to replace you. That is how this boy gets angry. He was boasting. I've told many women, in fact, eh, many of the women that are not bearing children is from their house. Now let's not let's not let's not debate. Now after your husband helped that young man yes. who seems to be like someone sent from his foundation to yes. trouble him. Yes. Now the boy left the, the work. He left the and work. He boasted against he your husband. Worry, yeah, start boasting again. I come back again. I say God of free did. I want to die the number. God of free did. I shout it three times. You solve a problem, mm. Father. Solve this my problem. Prove this enemy wrong. That you are God. I'm not coming to church in vain. And when that you did that. That is that God. God of pastor Jeremiah. Mm. Answer me. In fact, 
erase this man because of my heart. Because he has been doing a lot in my marriage. Can you make a joyful noise to the Lord? Make a joyful noise to God. Now your husband is back. He has been restated in his job. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. Every evil personality operating around you, programmed to drag you down. They shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Patrick Sagboge. How to thank God for the God of free deed. I've saved me from spirit of death and hell. I'll be having pain in my chest for several years. And when the pain comes to look as if it wants to block my heart. Ah, the pain was so much, I went for tests. There was nothing show on the, those tests. So I decided to come for the weekend deliverance. And in one of the sessions, when the pastor gave, talk about the mystery of giving, after the ministration, the coordinator came and said, we need to pray two prayer points before we go and rest. And the two prayer points was untimely death. When she raised the first one, the pain came so severely that I was so, I don't know what to do, it will hook me. But when he raised his second one again, was your timely death, and that pain disappeared until now I never had the pain again. I want to thank God for the God of free deed has saved me from spirit of death and hell. Praise the Lord. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. You can do better, jam those hands together for Jesus. If you don't use what God gave to you, you will take them. Jam those hands for Jesus. Our brother, for how long have you had that pain? About six years ago, I've been having the pain. And when the pain comes, we look as if you want to block my breath. So it's a chest pain. Chest pain. Did you go to the hospital? I went to the hospital. I went for a test. They said there was nothing wrong with me. You never knew it was a projection of death. It's dead. It was after that prayer, Holy Spirit laid to me that I've been moving with the spirit of death. That God of free did just deliver me from the spirit of death and hell. After the word of prophecy from God's servant, yes. the darkness disappeared. Exactly. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. Jesus, there, yeah. Are you sure? God, praise our Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for my life, for what Lord has done in my life. For the past 10 years, I've been looking for the fruit of the hope. A brother of mine had taken me to this place. That was last year. That was last year, November. After the deliverance. So after the deliverance, and I put it, but when I got to, I was in the dream. But the person that came to me was a past month. The person that I was working with. The man had come and told me in the dream that I should remove the part that I put in inside my mouth. When I woke up, it was a dream. I was surprised and I stood. I prayed. After that month. Can you speak a little I louder, not, please? After that month, I did not say my mantra again. That was when I know that God has blessed me. So I want to thank God for the, for the God of Pastor Jeremiah. I want to appreciate him for his mercy and his glory. I've suffered a lot for the past 20 years. I'm looking for the food. I've been to the hospital from hospital to hospital, visiting hospital to hospital. But still, yes, I have no solution. But the Lord has done in the push of a family of church worship. I want to appreciate my King of Glory. Let's jump together for, one for one Jesus. Our sister, for how long have you had this expectation? For 10 years now. For 10 years, yes. you were seeking the fruit of the womb. Yes, so you I got mean, married 10 years. Yes, 10 years. There you go. So. Yes. You're pregnant, you're pre pregnant yes, now. I'm pregnant. Wow. And you are just washing like that. Can you make a joyful noise to the Lord? Make a joyful noise to God. Jesus day, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Actually, uh, I'm happy to be by name. I'm a pastor for one of the branches in Winners. So, it has been a very big thing in my family, both the father's side and mother's side. It has been very tough for us. But a day, a day God told me that through me, generations shall have freedom. So, I was actually believing God for the fulfillment of what he said. So, there was a day when I was in school. I was in school then. I saw myself in my father's, in my mother's side. 
So when I was in a, in a dream, I noticed that the foundational power, though I have seen God have, have encountered before, I know, I know the, the, the power behind the family. Now for the sake of time, is she your sister? Yes, she's my sister. And beyond her, is there another person in the family that have this challenge of not being able to ah, conceive? Very, very. Like how many of them, please? Like now, okay. Like now, in my family, my mother's side, what I've observed is that there's a cause of madness, a cause of, cause of foolishness and premature death. So when I was very small, I've been expressing my uncles. Some of them were getting mad. Though actually, I, I didn't know what was actually happening to them. But as I was growing in faith, I got to understand that this is the power behind everything. So even in my father's side, there's a particular trace, there's a particular pattern which is the, the, it's affecting the people with the spirit of stroke. I've, uh, though I, have no, I don't go to my father's side like that, but the few days I was with them, I noticed that thing. My so, uncle, my father's side, had a stroke. So and like how many persons in your, in your family that uh, women who could not conceive like her? No, others. Others were conceiving. So, but for her, yeah, for the her, one that uh -huh. the, the powers shared for her yes. was that she would not have children. Uh -huh. So, inside the dream, I, the strong woman, she had the ability to change to man and woman. I noticed that she was shouting my name in one of the streets. Yes, she was shouting my name. That I should leave her alone. That I should leave her alone. I should leave her alone. That I should not be disturbing her. She was just shouting my name. I should not be disturbing her. That I'm the one disturbing her. But right inside the dream, I noticed that she was saying all these things through her. She was inside of her saying this truth through her. So, and I said, I, I, I heard in my spirit. I heard in my spirit that I should take her for deliverance. Okay, so that was how you brought her here. Yeah, that was why I brought her here. And when she came, uh, about, it was in November. About two weeks, when we went home, she now told me that something had happened. So I said, what happened? So she did not tell me. About three weeks later, when I was in school, it was even raining then. Then she now called me and she said, she has finally put in. So I knelt down. She has finally take in. Yeah, she has finally take in. After it, coming it, for deliverance uh, here and yes. contacting Grace. Yeah, she has finally And that is the evidence. Can you evidence. make a joyful noise to the Lord? Make a joyful noise to God. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. You can do better. Jam those hands together for Jesus. Ten years of fruitfulness broken after deliverance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Precious. I've come to give God the glory upon the life of my mother. My mom has sugar level for the, for the past two years now. and That is diabetes. So the thing has cost a lot. And ever since then, things were not okay. So last two weeks, Wednesday, I was sleeping that morning. She called me that uh, I'm coming back home, that even upon the drugs I won't save, it's as if I want to faint. And, and I said, okay, no problem. Just come. I said, I will just book you in prayer line. So that day, um, one big tank has spoiled in the middle of the road. I had to do bridge. So we could not get here on time. As soon as we just get to the church, Papa already left. The prayer line. I said, okay, we'll just wait till Sunday. And before then, our sugar level was 419. Our BP was um, 230. She could not overstand as if she wants to faint. So that was Sunday. I came here. I booked her in prayer line. So Papa touched her. She was sweating. As in the sweat. Oh, it's as if they pour water on her dress. So one minister said, ah, see, look at the way this woman is sweating. It's as if she has already gotten her healing. So she said, she said, I want to talk, I want to testify that, that uh, this is the way I came here, I'm no longer feeling like that. My now, body is okay. Let's hear from our mommy. Let's jump those hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we come to the prayer line, the BP high to 18 after they don't do test for me for the prayer line. Then the sugar level is 419. That's before you come to the prayer line. Before I come to the prayer line. So after line. the prayer line. After the prayer line, when I get to hospital, then that day, now we come from, the, well, from here, now we go to the hospital. When it is 419. 
So I saw that t- Tuesday, last week Tuesday. I can't go back. As I pray for me, give me a anoy- uh, prayer water. My body is free. I, I cannot stand, but after the, uh, the prayer and the water, my body they stand. I can't balance. You can't be strong. I can't be strong. The, the, I will not stand before, mm. but after the prayer, I can't stand. The evil self, I can't be smart. I can't look myself, say, I don't hear. So, as I reach the hospital, they can't share the sugar level from 40, uh, 419 to 78. Are you just washing like that? Can you jump and make a joyful night to the Lord? Make a joyful night to God. Jesus day, yeah. 419 milligram per deal yes. to 78. Eight. This is amazing. Like someone that never had diabetes at all. Any sickness that follow you here. Every darkness that follow you here. They shall be arrested. In the name of Jesus. So what about the BP, mommy? The BP can go 140. Then after that, Dr. Hala say, mommy, say, which God are you serving? Mm. I say, the God when I talk and pass. I say, I say the God when he give John Mark to deliver us. Mm. Now that God never cover me. Now the doctor Hala say, Mommy, say, where is the church? I say, as I at Orugonu Road. I say, that is the church. Along Orugonu Road, after the SC, police post. I say, the church is this there. This is a testimony that's winning so already. That is how your testimony will be. Your testimony will be a soul winner. In the name of Jesus. Let's hear from the daughter briefly. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. You can do better. Jam those hands together for Jesus. The BP was um, 230 before. But after the man, after our pastor, after that delay hands on uh, that BP that was 230 went back to normal. Even the blood pressure that was 490. Even the me, sugar I was level. Surprised. The sugar level was short i don't know what to say i just want to thank god praise and, the lord and with the, the values she had before obviously if she had fallen it would have been a very serious case of a stroke but the god of him delivered her from stroke and returned you said she almost fall one that went down on the 12 said she almost fall down water. Water. i the one when my daughter sent to me december so i called the users much more the that uh, on the 12 i go money to vote you. As I had come, now I told me, I want for now who one would not lead down. Now I had, I said, Mom, I can't take me. I don't feel I can't reach us again. Mm. Now I said, Lord, I said, make I go back to church. I said, if I go back to church, you go back for me, my entire flat, make I can't That's worry. That's your own church. Yeah, my own church. Let's have those together for Jesus. Yeah, Jesus day, yeah. Let's have those hands together for Jesus. You can do better. Jump those hands together for Jesus. Yeah, my, my name is uh, Austin Enekabo. This is my senior son. A friend and uh, brother that is staying with me. My, my senior daughter. I'm here to thank God for, for my son. They almost kidnapped him. I don't know if they were ritualists. But um, they were coming from my shop. And um, the, a lady approached this one and this one. They said, please, can you show us somewhere? From there, they hypnotized them. They carried them inside their car. Oh, immediately after the question, they, they, they entered the they car. They lost consciousness. Yes. They entered the car. And my son said, this t- um, tag is always with him. This scapula is always with him. So they collected all their phones, two of them. The money they sold that day, they collected them from them. They now asked this one not to talk to this one. This one not to talk to this one. That they should go and bring more phones. This one ran to my house, bring collected this one phone and was still coming back to them. So this one was running after this one. This one was running after this one. They get to the to the to where the group men were inside their car. They still collected the phone from them and said she go and bring more. Before they, uh, they came, before this one's come back, they were already gone. And okay, you need to come back again and take it slowly so okay. we can follow up. Yes. As in they just asked them a question. After after that, 
they lost consciousness. They, as in, they hypnotized them. So both of them were now inside the car. They collected everything from them. Said they, they would give them more money. Let, let him put the story himself. Okay. We are living in evil days. Somebody say evil days. The Lord will deliver us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On the 14th of February, we are going home. So we saw a woman and she said that whether we know any place. Then we said no. Then another guy now came. He said he know the place. So after that, I don't know what happened then. It, we enter one more to like that. And they say we should drop our phone and everything. Then we should go home and bring another one. Then when we got there, they, just, they say we should just go. So people should just go? Yes. Just like that? Yes. So they only took the phones? Yes. Imagine people who could, who could control their mind, the will and the cognition of someone else. They could have done anything. But the God of friendly preserved them. You said they were putting on the scapula. Yes. One. This one now. Your daughter now. Yes. Was running after him yes. when he came to pick the phone in the house. My, 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 what, my, to me. I'm thanking God. They would have carried them away. Mm. Let's rise up on our feet and appreciate God for this massive deliverance. Let's shout three powerful hallelujah. One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. 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 The rest of the testifiers will share their testimonies in second service. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus for the wonderful testimonies. Let's listen to the following announcements. Today is Let Fire for dedication of children and properties and also Thanksgiving. This Wednesday is the last Wednesday we are required to come to church with our building plans for prayers by God's servants. This Saturday, 7th March, is Emma must hand over or die program, communion service, and anointing of preservation for children. Our next adult deliverance is Friday 13th to Sunday, 15th March, and the time is 5 p.m. Free Indeed TV partners and Crusade Sponsors meeting on Saturday 14th March, and the time is 8 a.m. Upper Room Fire Conference for Pastors, Ministers, church workers, businessmen, and women host Wednesday 18th to Friday 20th March. And the time is morning session 8 a.m. Evening session is 4 p.m. The last day, which is Friday, is a night of deliverance. And the time is 8 p.m. Good news. Wedding announcements. There will be a wedding between Sister Ajuya. Um, Sister Julia Vivian and Bra Ikeshuku Frank. If they are in the house, please let them come forward. Sister Ajuya and Brother Frank Ikeshuku, are they around? You face the congregation. If any one of you have any reason why both of them should not be wedded in a holy matrimony, you please say it now or keep your mouth shut. If you have any reasons why they should not be wedded in a holy matrimony, please say it or after now you keep your mouth shut. Let's stretch our hands as we pray. Praise the Lord. Let's stretch our hands as we pray for them. That the grace of God upon God's servants we speak for them as they come together this Saturday. In Jesus' name we pray. As we have decreed, so shall it be in Jesus' name. You can assist them financially. As you do that, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Go back to your seat. Let's jump on together for Jesus as we make welcome the choristers.
this world. Oh, let the ancient words be. Lift up your hands and let's worship the Lord. Let's appreciate his mercy, his goodness, for his anointing, his presence. 
the unique testimonies shared this morning. Ten years barrenness, deliverance, healing of all kinds, of all manner. Let's appreciate him. Father, we bless your name. King of glory, we worship you. Ancient of days, we exalt your name. Be that exalted, be that glorified. There is none like unto you. Rien comme For toi. in Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Jesus never fail, we will never fail forever. Hallelujah. I have a God who never fail. I have a God. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. Jesus never fail. This month is our month of tears of celebration. I don't know who wants to celebrate. If you are that person, I want you to personally sing this song. I have a God who never fails. Come on. I have a God who never fails. Somebody say it. Hallelujah. I have a God. He will never fail. Who never never fail. I have a God. Who never fail. Jesus never fail. Come on. Come on. Amen. Jesus, he will never fail. You have a Jesus, who never you have a Savior, he will never fail. He will never fail. He will never fail. Come on, forever. Hallelujah. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. that want to have tears of joy and not tears of sorrow. Can you jump up and shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Your tears of joy shall be a surprise. Your testimony shall be a surprise. Your connection this month shall be a surprise. And your breakthrough shall be a surprise. I see your in a hurry. Somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Father, we say thank you for the release of the prophecy of this month. Tears of joy, not of weeping, not of sorrow, not of asking God why it shall end in joy. Can your amen be the loudest? In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. 
Again, I bring greeting from the nation of Turkey to every one of you here. Shout hallelujah. And one condition God gave us this month is two souls. Make sure you follow them up and bring them to church. Two souls. Seal it up. Get ready for your tears of joy. When I put condition, I don't put force on it. Just do it. I'm ready for your tears of joy. Revelation chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. Revelation chapter 2. I promised to preach marriage this month, but I'm sharing it two weeks after it will be the marriage. So, the first two weeks, because the Lord told me, go and preach enough salvation. Be different in this generation as I've raised you. The more you hit on the salvation, many don't know me. Many are righteous, they claim to be. Some are Pharisees, some are seducers, some they don't wear earrings, some are devoted, zeal, fasting, crying, praying, say, but they don't know me. And if I keep quiet the way I followed him, it means he has not raised me. So the more I do it, the more you'll be seeing all these testimonies you are hearing now. It's amazing. Too amazing. So two of it this month. Then the other one will be marriage. Revelation chapter 2. Apocalypse chapter 2. Verse 4 to verse 5. Verse 4 to 5. He said, never the less. A cause. I have somewhat against thee. Because. Thou has left. That what? Thou has left. Thou has left. The first love. The first love. And remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Any man that can think where he fall has a fiction. Remember from when thou art fallen, and don't stay there. He said with a condition, repent. Do the first work that you were doing or you ought to do. Or S. I will come unto thee quickly and I will remove the candlestick out of his place with a condition again except that repent. There's a man here. He had a good job one time and somehow he was manipulated with the job. He was excited with the job. And he fell. He lost the job. But he came back to the Lord with a heart open. Cried to the Lord. Realized where he fell. Did several deliverance. And the job he later got was times three of the first job. I'm talking of job that pay millions of naira in a month here. A job that can employ over 100 persons here. He got such a mega opportunity. But the thing entered him. And then he missed it. I was angry with him. Talking to the church of Ephesus. Of free indeed. I know you believe. I know your faith. What am I preaching this morning? The first love faith. The first love faith. I know you believe. I know you have faith. I know you are hard working. You are putting so much. But there is still something that I have found against you. He looked at our heart and he said, nevertheless, that thing I have found against you, you can know it better. That was a word he used, nevertheless. The word means examine yourself. Check yourself inwardly. Check yourself and see if you can assess that area you fear. There is hope for you. There is victory for you. There is restoration for you. In first Timothy, chapter 5, verse 12. First Timothy, chapter 5, verse 12. The Bible said, having damnation because they have cast off their first fits. They came with 
damnation. The word damnation means condemnation. Punishment that is ahead. Why is the punishment? Why is the shame? Because they have left their first love. Hebrew 11 verse 6. The Bible said, He that cometh to God must know that is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. That they that come so the pastor is not to believe for you, sir. You are to believe for yourself. And not just believe for yourself. You must understand. In serving God, there must be challenges. There must be things to shake you. There must be things to threaten you. But that is not the time to murmur. That is not the time to criticize. That is not the time to complain. That is not the time to look for your way at all means. We must look up to him. If he's truly the actor, the finisher, and he's the one to reward. If you truly is the one to reward, means you're serving God, should not be pointed to man, should not be judged to man, should not be condemned to man, then look for him. Serve him. That is why he said, Remember we are there for so that the candlestick can come back to you. I don't know where you miss your candlestick, but I know the God who can restore it. If only you go back to your first love of faith and let the candlestick return. Shout out God, two things to do for your candlestick to be restored. Number one, renew your commitment. Renew your faith. Ephesians 4, verse 23. Ephesians 4, verse 23. The Bible said, renewing your spirit and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Number one, renew your spirit. In Luke 20, verse 9. Luke 20, and verse 9. The Bible talks of a man who traveled to a far country and they, they, when he traveled, a certain man planted a vineyard and let it fall to a husband man and went into a far country a long time. What am I saying here? There are women when their husband traveled very far and left them and they said the man has traveled for a while. I cannot wait. I cannot bear. I have to adjust. I have to look for somebody. And they start going back. They start missing their relationship. Recently, a man on Facebook came back and the, the wife was disturbing. Take me to abroad. Take me to abroad. And the man came and said, I want to take you to abroad. And the, the immigration demanded for the DNA of the children. And when they did the DNA, they discovered the three children were not his children. The man beat the woman to stupor. Pulled almost five teeth. Blood all over her. The man went for a far country. The woman wants to go to abroad. Immigration have to expose him. I don't know the immigration that want to expose him. It might be spiritual immigration. It might be physical immigration. But my prayer for you this morning. Anywhere you fall. I pray that the Lord will show you mercy. As you return back to where you fall. And your candlestick shall be returned back. I say your candlestick shall be restored back. Can I hear that amen louder? Shout out God. Many of us have ability. We have skill. We have many force in us. We have activity. We have head knowledge. In fact, we have all it takes. But this cannot replace our faith. It cannot change the place of our faith. We must have our first love in him. We must keep to our first love. There are many services many of us come to do here. I call them empty services. There are public services. I can be talking here without the power of God. Without the approval of God on me. That is an empty and a public service. There are many today that carry such empty services. Public services. Nothing is attached. But I pray for you today. You will not come to this place. And the Lord will see that your service is an empty service. It's a public showman service just to get att attraction, just to get to be known. And that is the reason of your basics. And that's why you see people fighting for position. 
They said, no, why should I be removed from the position? Some said, no, why should I be this one that is in the position? Some people just cause unnecessary things that they should not use to disturb themselves. Why? They don't have Jesus. They are faith service. There is a real service and there is a faith service. There is an eye service. But we have a lot of faith service. A man who is truly called by God does not struggle for pulpit. Does not struggle to be known. God introduces you by himself. I pray for somebody this morning. Every spirit of faith service, eye service, carnality and whatever you are doing that you want to use to deceive yourself that you are serving God, that has made you to miss your first love. I pray if your amen can be the loudest. Receive grace to be delivered this morning. I said receive grace to be delivered this morning. Can I hear that name louder? In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22. The Bible talk about only one groom. It charges on one groom. One husband. One bridegroom. One Jesus. Hebrews 10 verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart. In full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled. Read that place, everybody. Having our heart what? From what? From an evil conscience. And our body washed with what? I pray for somebody here. Every evil conscience that is affecting your future, affecting your speed, affecting your drive, by the mercies of God, let God show you mercy. Let the Holy Ghost show you mercy. Shall that they may be delivered from an evil conscience. There are two major secrets of life, shadow God. Two major secrets that life is anchored on. Two major secrets. One, sir, a conscious that is clear with God. Number two, a conscious that is clear with man. And hear this. The enemy has organized diversities of situations to make us offend God and to cause our hearts to be a battleground with offenses and for a fellow human beings offenses with a conscience that is there. Child of God, what make a clear conscience powerful? Number one, a clear conscience imparts the boldness. Proverbs 28 and verse 1. Clear conscience impart boldness. A clear conscience equals strong confidence. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. But the righteous as what? The righteous as what? I pray that shall be your testimony. Somebody said that they may ladder. Hear this, sir. Whatever make God not to be happy with you is indirectly fighting the boldness of your faith. Whatever make God not to be happy with you. But one of the problems we have today is that so many persons' conscience have been dead. And a man that the spiritual sense of conscience is dead, that man is already heading for doom. Is there anyone that keep offending you? Surely offense will come. Number two, type of conscience, a conscience that gives one access to divine direction. When your conscience is clear, it gives you access to divine direction. Proverbs 20 verse 7, when a conscience is clear, the guidance is easy. When a conscience is clear, everything it does is different. Disasters are evacuated. The just man walketh in his integrity. And his children are blessed after him. Anytime Satan brings bitterness on your way, take that word from me. Anytime he brings bitterness on your way, sir, Satan is fighting your boldness. Satan is fighting 
your boldness. He said, let us draw near with a full assurance. Full one. Not partial one. Full one. There is nobody that enjoys partial electricity. Partial electricity cannot carry some appliances. Let us draw near. So evil conscience are products that Satan used to tie us down. My prayer to, for you is that anybody that influences you around just to give you an evil conscience and after more thoughts or give you a desire that makes you fall from the path. If your amen can be the loudest, may God clear those people from you. May God clear them from you. There are people that you surround yourself with and their mission is to divert you and change your conscience. Originally, you may not have such a conscience, but your intimacy with them, your conscience start dying. A conscience that is not standing with the word of God, such a conscience is standing alone. First Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 9 to verse 10. First Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 9 to verse 10. First Thessalonians chapter 1. He said, for them, they said, show off, show off us what manner of entering we had unto you. And how ye turned to God from idol to serve the living and true God. And verse 10, verse 10. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which he delivered from us. As many of you that have turned from idol worship, idol worship of the mind, of the self, and you have turned to God. I pray that the spirit of holiness and righteousness will be conscious inside of you. John chapter 21 and verse 16. He said, Peter, Simon Peter, Simon Peter, thou lovest me more than this? That is to say, many of you, sir, when you face temptation, he said to Peter the second time, Simon, son of Jim Jonas, lovest thou me? Lovest thou me? More than this. There are many of us, when we encounter some temptation, there is a level we can go. There is a level we can go. There are some that will tell you, I'm not going to church again. That is a state of their true service from beginning. There are some people that will tell you, I'm already changed church. That was their state of their true service from beginning. There is nobody the fire will not test his integrity, will not test the humility, will not test his brokenness, will not test his righteousness. It will test you to show who you are. But I pray for somebody here. Your love for God will not be a miracle service, will not be a face service, will not be an eye service. But if your amen is a ladder, receive a consciousness of holiness. Receive a consciousness of righteousness. I pray, receive that in the name of Jesus. Peter, that loves me more than material things. That is to say, the love is a divided one. Love it than me more than certificates. Love it than me more than land. More than your little attainment and achievements. Source of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 6. Source of Solomon. The Bible said in that place that the way he said, Source of Solomon 8 6. Set me as a seal upon the heart, as a seal upon the hand. For love is strong as death. For love is what? For love is what? Many water cannot quench love, they said. So when you love God and you truly love somebody, you will not mind the cost. You will not mind the price. You will not mind the demand. You will truly show that you love him. Romans chapter 8 and verse 35 and verse 39. He said, who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation, distress, what kind of distress? What shall tribulation, distress? Persecution, famine, nakedness, or peril, or they kill us or we attack. And the verse 39, he said, neither height, 
neither height, nor depth, nor any other creation shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Every consciousness that is separating you from the affection of Jesus and driving you to the affection of this world, this world that fades, this world that disappears, I pray for somebody here, you will not miss your direction. You will not miss heaven. Somebody said the loudest, Amen! The second thing to do to restore back your candlestick is willingness. Somebody say willingness. Say it again, say willingness. The Bible said in Psalm 110 verse 3 that in the days of his power the people shall be willing. Now you have the power to evangelize. You have the power to do the things of God. You have the power. No way you have got old. And you say, I want to be born again. Or you have seen temptation and attack. In the days of his power, the people shall be willing. Tell your neighbor, are you willing? How many souls this month? Are you ready for your two souls? What is your neighbor saying? What is he saying? Hebrew 13 verse 17. Hebrew 13 verse 17. What did he say, child of God? Hebrew 13 verse 17. Obey them that have rule over you. Submit yourself. For they wash for your soul. They pray. Obey the minister, the pastor. The leader that is put in the group. Obey them. As they that must give account. They, are, they want to give account on your behalf. That they may do it with joy. Oh God, this one. No, forget this one. They may do it with joy, not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. I pray the spirit of brokenness, the spirit of brokenness, the spirit of humility, possess the choir, possess the usher, possess the evangelism group, possess the ministers, possess the pastors, possess every congregant, everyone hearing me, possess your spirit now in the name of Jesus. When somebody is willing, child of God, you don't have to announce it. You don't motivate the person. You don't give incentive. You don't threaten them for them to work. You don't put those pleasure. You don't give incentive. You don't announce it. You don't motivate them. You don't threaten them. This is not the time to look back. Isaiah 1 verse 19. He said, if ye are willing and obedient. If ye are willing and obedient. What do you do? I will run with the work. If you are willing and obedient, I will do the work of an evangelist. If you are willing and obedient, I will be humble, submissive. If you are willing and obedient. When you love your wife or your husband, you tell them, honey, darling, I love you. When you truly love God, show to him. Tell him how you truly love him. These days, sir, we have fake Christianity. Even though we know there are fake prophets and pastors, we have fake members everywhere that have given impetus for these people to rise. And when they are duped in other church, they come to a living church, creating problem, claim to be holy, claim to be born again. We have fake pastors and ministers who are in the midst we have fake evangelists. We have fake leaders in group. All they are looking for, they want to hijack position and they want to be known. The day you remove them, there is crisis. Those are fake believers. We call them the Pharisees. We call them people who doesn't know God. The publican in that book, in that Luke, in that Luke chapter 10, the Bible said the publican was afraid. He could not even leave himself to God. He was an, an outcast. He was a rejected person. It was somebody written off. But come and see the Pharisees now. He will tell you, am I not better than this sister? Have I not known more than this sister? I pay my tithes. I do this in the work of God. Why are they talking like this? Why are they saying like this? But for the publican, the Bible said this man could not open his heart. He could not even talk. He guided his body. Oh God, I am not worthy to come before you. And the Bible said of these two, 
there was justification. Stand up on your feet. I pray for somebody this morning. The spirit of the publican, not Pharisees, let it possess your spirit, man. Your amen is too poor. Let it possess your consciousness. Let it give you a new conscience. Give you a new spirit. A new drive. I pray, those of you that love gossiping, murmuring, complaining, any little thing you want to advertise, people should know. Come and see. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Go for the grace. Go for the what? Our assistant male leader. I've been coming here. And he will sit to your miss. Very humble. When your guy is here, your guy will shout on him. The man will not talk anything. I've settled case diplomacy several times. He will just quiet because he understands his leader. All of them are men, lead, men at their capacity. But because he knows that that man has been made his boss, he humbled himself. Daddy, please, oh, you know my leader, you know how to enter him. I said, okay. Humble, humble. Come here, pray quietly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. From nowhere. When the DSP was calling him, come and be my campaign manager, he was not even interested because it wasn't in that line. He said, but daddy keep praying for grace, praying for this. Let me just follow. And he followed. By the grace of God, was here on Wednesday. While I was over there in Turkey, they were sending a message. I didn't get it until he called me yesterday. And look at where destiny has placed him. You can see. Can you see your assistant Melinda now? This is where destiny has placed Somebody say humility. He used one word when we were talking yesterday. He said the grace too much for free indeed. Can you see that? That is your assistant mayor leader. Who is a rewarder? Is it Pastor John Mark? No. Answer me, church. Is it Pastor John Mark? No. Who is a rewarder? No. How many of you want God to reward you? Lift up your hands. I pray the spirit of brokenness, the spirit of humility, the spirit of faithfulness, the spirit of righteousness. From nowhere you were here when, they, when grace picked the man. He doesn't fight to sit at the front. He's always sitting at the corner. Why a leader will sit here? Humility. Many of you What do you get? What do you know? What do you get? A man from a poor background. I told him yesterday, I prayed one prayer because my intention was to close Abuja, Abuja branch today. And I, I, I made up my mind. I said they should close it. But I prayed one prayer. God, if it's not your will, let him call me as I'm coming. He said, Daddy, I won't go to church for Abuja. Where will the church? I said, Kubwa. I said, I don't close. I won't close them because the pastors we have, they don't have our spirit until I find the one that look. He said, no, not be that church will change your life. Send somebody for us. We'll go start them from afresh. Did you see what grace is? We go do it. Foundation will let some people miss their timing. May you not miss your timing. Yeah. When he told me some top people in the government, please, I cannot take your number. And they be running dances. But now, professors, can I do this? Can I do this? Learn to serve. Let him do the reward. If you are looking for me for incentive, for motivation, how do I got here? I wish I can bring, if not for a reason to my God that raised me in MFA, I would have bring my shirt with his shirt. He keep telling me that nowadays pastors, ministers, workers, they're not ready to serve God. Though. He said, remember what you did in Escravos. We shot last week. He said, it was what brought you out. They have missed it. And the work is large. Nobody to work the work. I said, daddy, what a word you just said. They are waiting for incentive. They are waiting for motivation. They are waiting for this. In our days, open feed like this. Open feed. They sleep. They go park sand for river. Nobody know me. Nobody noticed me. I didn't know I was going to bless people like this. I didn't even know I'm going to preach to crowd. Never go to stadium. I never knew too I'll be traveling abroad. As I finish one now, America, London, everywhere they call me. When are you coming? Close when I tell... Hold on. Close when I tell bring... Bring suits, bring clothes, what they buy for me. Now, they pass three, almost five bags. 
Everywhere filled with me. That is, somebody say grace. grace. Open yourself to him. The grace is here. Don't use gra. Don't use strive. Don't let people make you miss your conscience. People like me, I am thanking God every day. Once I go close to a pastor and I see you are not going my direction, you turn. Today, many of them, I don't want to mention it, many of those my pastors today who were criticizing me then, fighting me, or with all humility, they are here now, employed to be in our ministry now. With all humility. Somebody knows where he was going. In my content, a pastor then in MFL left back to redeem. I remember him. His name is Alex. I was angry with him because he was following all this set of people who doesn't know where they were going. So in the content, he sent me, when he saw our picture, he sent me, I love this family, die. He said the reason because when people were following shadow, they were busy serving God and paying the price. He said, my daddy, fly, enjoy yourself as you will enjoy. You have paid the price. For the first time, I replied him, thank you. Why? Why he was saying it, he was also saying to himself. Because there were many at that time, all of them, wind carried them away. You will not fail. Your conscience shall not be contaminated. Yeah. I know many of you are not going to say, Ah, I beg, I like my Abuja. I won't see you. Now be the eye service. So. Now be the face service. For people like us, the route to service that take people up, I'm interested. That is why I live. God, show me the route. I want to follow together. Not be like this. Not be like this. You will not miss your place. My father who raised me up, we were together in the Rehoboki Crusade. They introduced it before me. And no ovation. But the moment they say, Pastor Jomak, he goes so too. And the, the, the man said, the bulldozer of our time. The old feet look as if Nami won't preach. In the midst of all that BB General was here. One of the big men I respect so much, a father indeed, walked to me and said, why are we not seeing you, sir? I want to be close to you. You don't come out. How can I know you? Please, come out. Let's talk. I said, Daddy, I will travel. When I come back, me, and I go come meet you. I am not proud to say you should come and meet me. You cleared the way for us. I will come to you. You sure you will come? I said, he held my hand. Are you sure? I said, I'm humble to that. You see me. Many of us, our conscience is dead. Christianity is just coming to social service do service with God. God told me, my son, do you want more miracle in this church? He said, go and preach salvation, I told you. Many of you, your conscience is gone. But my one prayer for you, there was a man I connected to him, something very big in the state, in the federal. He told me something about the man, and the thing really manifested. I connected to him, to DSP. As DSP had my name, he once to the presidency. But right now, we are afraid of taking the man further. The question I'm asking, who do I put in the shoe of that man? And that position <laughs> is almost equated to DSP position. He does not have that rank, but the money is more than that level. I say, who do I put there now? Only the few times I knew the man, he has duped me close to one point something million. And I mean, I mean they carry the government president. You know, go go there again. No? People are begging me, say no, because of what is coming to build the light city, make another. But my conscience is not like that. People are not straightforward. My prayer that we will have more people like this man, never talk, is on his own, doesn't bother you. I have found grace. Nobody can shake me. My prayer we will have more of them like you. <laughs> and you'll be willing, faithfully committed to say, I want to serve. Not incentive, not motivation, not announcement. God. Use me the way I am. Lift up your hands. I pray for somebody here. The anointing of true holiness. The true character of service. Brokenness. Humility and brokenness. Let him possess all the entire God's delight. All the entire free indeed. I pray for you for today. Before you call God, he will answer you. Before you open your mouth to pray, he will answer you. He will hear you out from today. You will not miss your place. You will not miss your direction. 
holiness, righteousness, faithfulness, the spirits of true service and brokenness, let it come upon everyone in the name of Jesus. Let it come upon our ushers, upon our choir, our evangelism team, the men leadership, the women leadership. Be possessed with that spirit. And let the grace of signs and wonders speak for you. This new month, I want you to ask God for one thing. But remember, there's a condition. Two what? Two suits. Ask God for one thing. This new month. I don't know what you want, but bring it before the altar. If you are faithful with your two souls, our verses come in. Ask God for one thing. True service. True service. True service. Ask God for one thing. Ask God. One, Lord, show me. Show me. Give me more mercy and grace. I have missed it. I want to be faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. I have not made contact call. I have missed my first love. I want to sh God to show me mercy to be restored back. Anywhere you are watching me, branch satellite, Facebook, or anywhere, I want the first love, Lord, and the candlesticks to be restored back. Come to the front. I want you, God, to restore me back. Come to the front. I want God, I have missed the first love. I want my relationship back with the Lord. A man, the Bible says, he traveled to a far country. When he came back, he came. What did he come to meet? The wife has changed. The wife is now having an affair. The wife has changed his, his thinking. There are people that surround you. Your level of thinking changes. There are people that come your way. You miss your relationship with God. Lord, I want to, my first love to be restored back. There's a man in our midst here. I don't know you. I only saw this thing just now. You smoke this morning before you came to the church. Even this morning. Cigarette. White. You smoke and you are a smoker. Please, where is the man? The Lord wants me to pray for you. You smoke this morning. Come. I just saw you now. Where are you? This morning you take, you take cigar before you come church. As you come front now, now the white cigar they see. Come, come. Let me pray for you. Let it come to the front. Climb a little bit. Lift your hand. Lord, I pray for everyone here. You will not die a local man. Yeah. Your glory shall not be perverted. Yeah. I serve God all through mountain of fire. With all humility, on cable. No salary. No ass rent. No salary. No ass rent. No memory. No complaining. One day, I said, let me go and ask them if they will give me one month. And they said, they don't have. I went to try. Because that was not my drive. My drive is, I want to know God. I want to know God. That was how I entered into a pastor. When I started from Escravos, I went there to work, not to serve God. But the church fell down. And I said, church cannot die in my eye. It means God will be angry with And I'm not a pastor. I left the work in Escravos that they wanted to give to me. I started looking at my books. Then I just left Deeper Life to MFN. So more of Deeper Life messages to preach. I said, I'm preaching. Two brothers to make it worse. Break the church. They left. One went, another one went like this. This one will come and give rapper to women to come. This one will give sandin. I don't have sandin. I don't have rapper. Nobody to sing for me. Nobody to play keyboard. That was how I learned how to play keyboard. I will be playing keyboard and I'm singing. After praises, I will go to the altar. On Monday, we will go and pack sand. You know they call labor. You know they call serving God. When you see the one of these days, they won't drink five alive. Sit down like this. You will not miss it. When you look for comfort at this early age, you don't have fiction. Even me as I am, I don't have comfort. I left here this morning now. I slept around after four. Woke up to six. Then I'm here now. Wake up to six. And I'm here. 
That man has no comfort. That means a one hour plus sleep. You will not miss your place. Greatness is for everybody, but only few are ready to pay the price. You will not miss your place. I pray for you again and again and again. You will not miss your place. You shall not miss your place. The spirit of true consciousness, not dead one. That your conscience is alive, not pretentious one. Let that consciousness come upon you. Let your Christianity be real. Without doubting. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Our male leader is a head of all retiree of NAPC in Nigeria. That the man. Now, when God wanted to give him the position, all the northern ants, they have already ajacked it. Some people say, let's go and meet this. Let me have this. Let's go this. And he had a dream where he saw me. Brought him from the hole. And I said, don't go anywhere. The grace will do it. People were calling, won't you move? Won't you do this? At this time. The man never checked. When the election came, with all the letter recommended, with all the endorsements, he was the one they picked as a retiree of NFPC. That's why you don't see him in church. Always in Abuja, always in Kano, always, in Kano, always traveling from here, from this place. Many of you, if you don't drop down your shoulder part, it will be difficult for you to see the tomorrow. God has not even started with you. You have already like this. It's not this Bible that I know. The Bible is a different thing. The spirit of holiness and righteousness will baptize you. Is it the young man? Smoke this morning. Oh. You are too young for that. You are, you are delivered from that spirit. The God who, who cited you out this morning, let that spirit die. In Jesus' name. What's your name? Carol. Yes. Where do you live? Bogidi here. You came, this is your first time? Huh? Since last year. Since last year. Why are you smoking? Are you depressed? I find myself doing that since my dad died last year. Oh, since your dad died last year? Yeah. Two years ago. You now find yourself doing it? Yeah. I understand. That's depression. But you had a message and I said, what can separate us? Is it distress? So distress will always come. You are free, Carol. Eh? You'll be my friend. All this kind of... Uh, hmm? And this one. <laughs> you don't need that. You're a big boy. You're my, you're my, you're my friend from now. Eh? Congratulations. <laughs> you don't need them. Give Jesus a big, big hand. Please, without wasting time, if you are willing, you must pay your tithe. So take your tithe, come to the front. The time is gone already. Thank God I was able to manage it. If you are willing, you pay your tithe. You know what he said? If you are willing, and what? Obedient. What did he say? You will eat what? It's not those that are in Abuja that will eat the fruit of the land. Many are there in Abuja, they don't have houses. They are hungry. One of our pastors is here. Let me tell you what people are going through in Abuja. When I heard the word that people live fake life, I did not understand. They have to explain. I will call them and explain it to me. How? When they start explaining, they are new what they call fake life. If you are obedient, the land will favor you. Lift up your, your tithe. I bless your tithe in Jesus' name. So please live a obedient life. Look at the miracle this morning, testimony this morning. It is because the Lord told me to go more into this preaching. Live an obedient life. He told me that the true service, true membership, I got it from holiness. Not, I will prosper. No. The church is already blessed. Prosperity wise, any level of dimension, grace is sufficient. What you need is key into the revelation. Please do that very fast. And ushers, please take the other. Let's take our offering. Pray for this year, this month for you. Tears of celebration. Tears of celebration.
Please lift up your offering. The Bible said in Proverbs 3 verse 9, Honor the Lord with that substance and the f- first fruit of the increase. Today is the last Sunday of praying for first fruit. So I will call you to pray for all of you. Today is the last day. I declare your offering blessed in Jesus' name. If you are willing and obedient, Come on. I'll be looking at my time, eh? They're taking my time. Don't, we have never exceeded this for, for this year. Please, I know some of us uh, already understand we only take tithe and one offering. Tithe and one offering is just one offering. But why this second one came is because of the delight city. And I tell you, God help us. We got it right at the right time. We were able to secure the front. Each acre there is 88 million. Very expensive. You know? Very expensive. But, like I said, we have a whole sum of about 42 million to clear. So we need to cover those places before we continue inside. And the pressure of the community, knowing that we are coming, they are excited. Every, they want... Other people try to come in, they send them away. That they know that this is the church they want there. So we need to clear that that was how we came up with this second offering for Delight City as a normal offering. But even with that, you have seen what the Lord is doing. Two people called me when I was traveling. One from, the two of them from America, one at the airport, one when I just got home. All of them shared testimony of Delight City. One has been writing nursing exam, and the exam is very hard to pass. If you have family in America, if they tell you of that exam, you know that it's a hard exam. I've had a lot of people call me for it. But this time around, this sister said, just took the calendar, lie on the calendar, and so to the light city, and said, let the grace follow her. He said this, and before now, she will always miss it with one mark, one mark. The thing is giving her headache. This time around, the kind of cut off mark she beat, without preparing much, she could not explain. 
while the other one said shall be looking for a place of job for over a year plus now, the place is not open. Before you know, somebody has come in. And it's a job where you work three days, you rest two days. So she can continue her school. This time, they just call her without interview anything and said, are you interested? She said she's interested. He said, daddy, you will not believe. That's what I've been praying for. He said, but you know, I just sowed the licity. He has been paying. He said, I just decided, let me just sow it to the licity. Only for her to be called. Are you interested? So the delicity opened an account for any challenge, anything you feel you want to. So aside taking the offering, you are that person that want to see that account raw. raw. Delicity should be your priority. Hello? It should be your what? I want to sow into delicity. You can come out and let me bless you. The time is gone, but if nobody's coming out, good. This is a new month, and I expect you to connect hard. But if nobody's coming out, then take your normal delicity offering. And just come to the front. Father, let your grace speak to every offering that is here and declare grace on their delight city. Those who are coming out to sow, encounter them in a new way. Let the heaven over there open. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, you can do the account number is there. Those of you who understand what I just said, you want the Lord to clear the way now, get to delight city. You will see the gap and the difference in your life. You will never regret it. Second service, I'll be preaching on tears of celebration for your next level. Tears of celebration for your next level. And it's very powerful. Very, very powerful. Tears of celebration for your next level. How do I assess it and the prayer to pray? Please, while we're doing that, let's stand up and pray. Let's stand up and pray. The time is gone. Tears of celebration for your next level. For your next level. For your next level. Tears of celebration. Lift your two and say, This month shall answer for me all my prayer requests, all my expectation. Open your mouth and declare it. This month shall answer for me all my prayer requests and my expectation. This month shall answer for me. All my prayer requests, my expectation. This month, shall answer for me. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. That God of divine assurance, release my tears of celebration. Open your mouth and declare it, my tears of celebration. Release my tears of celebration. God of divine assurance, release it, release it, release it. In Jesus' name we pray. Say that power that has vowed this month to be a month of stress for me. You are wicked. Die! Open your mouth and pray it. That power that has vowed that this month will be a month of pain and tears. Command it to die. Command it to die. Command it to die. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift your two hands and declare with anger in your spirit, brutality in your spirit. Say, I force my tears of celebration. Come out! Force it out, force it out. Come out. Tears of celebration. Come out. Come out. Tears of celebration. Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Lastly, that spirit of brokenness and consciousness in the things of God. Come upon me from today. Brokenness and consciousness in the things of God. Brokenness and consciousness. Come upon me. Brokenness and consciousness. Come upon me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift your two hands. I pray for somebody here. 
before Thursday, Friday, Wednesday. That rugged deliverance, rugged visitation, rugged testimony, I release it upon you now. This month will be a month of tears of joy, tears of celebration, a month to be focused in serving God, a month to see more results. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. lift your hand and let's share the goodness, surely. One loud hallelujah. God bless you. Congratulations. You are coming for the first time. Step here. Have a handshake with me. As we go straight to the 